What's up, everyone? Welcome to the August 29th edition of FanDuel Tournament Plays presented by Prize Picks. I'm your host, Adam Scherer. You can follow me on Twitter at ShipMyMoneyDFS. And as a reminder, use the promo code AWESOMO when you sign up and make a deposit at Prize Picks. You'll receive one free month of Stochastic Plus Platinum. You'll also receive a 100% deposit bonus up to $100 on your first deposit. We have a six game MLB slate tonight on FanDuel. Starts at 7.05 Eastern, so you're missing two games compared to the DraftKings slate, but you're also getting the normal 7.05 start time. And as usual, we're going to take a look at three of the top tournament stacks and three of the top tournament pitchers using the top stacks tool and the top pitchers tool on the stochastic.com website. Starting with the top stacks, number three, the Boston Red Sox are taking on Dylan Bundy tonight in Minnesota. The Red Sox are projected for 9% ownership with a 9% chance of being the top scoring stack and a 6% chance of being the top value stack. Bundy has only struck out 17% of hitters this year with a 4.52 XFIP and 1.33 home runs per nine innings. The Red Sox active roster has a 105 WRC plus and 156 ISO. Number two, the New York Yankees taking on Jose Suarez tonight in Los Angeles. Um, Angel Stadium has actually been favorable for power this year. Suarez has allowed 1.22 home runs per nine this year while striking out 21.5% of hitters with a 4.31 XFIP. The Yankees active roster has or is has a 117 WRC plus and 173 ISO. They are projected for 9% ownership with a 12% chance of being the top scoring stack. And number one, the Toronto Blue Jays are taking on Javier Assad tonight in Toronto. Assad has posted much better numbers at double A and triple A this year than he has in the past. There are articles suggesting that his velocity is up and that he's improved his pitch mix. So I don't think he's likely to be as bad an option as some projection systems or as bad a pitcher, I should say, as some projection systems expect him to be. But I also don't expect him to be a particularly good major league pitcher at this point. And he's got a very difficult matchup against the Jays. Toronto's active roster has a 111 WRC plus and 160 ISO. They're projected for 16% ownership with a 16% chance of being the top scoring stack and a 9% chance of being the top value stack. Now, before we take a look at the top three tournament pitchers, we do have a new promo code for viewers of these videos. That promo code is ADAMMLB. Use it. Get 50% off Stochastic Plus weekly. This offer is available for new users only, but if you haven't already signed up for Stochastic Plus, take advantage and you'll get access to behind the paywall data, including the top stacks tool and the top pitchers tool that I reference in these videos. Again, that's promo code Adam MLB. Use it and get 50% off Stochastic Plus weekly. Now, taking a look at the top three tournament stack, or sorry, top three tournament pitchers. Number three, Ranger Suarez taking on the Arizona Diamondbacks tonight in Arizona. Suarez is only projected for 4% ownership with a 10% chance of being the top scoring pitcher and a 7% chance of being the top value pitcher at $9,400. Suarez has struck out 20.2% of hitters this year with a 3.74 XFIP, and he's going up against an Arizona team that has a 96 WRC plus and 20.9% strikeout percentage on their active roster. Number two, Jose Barrios, $8,500 price tag, projected for 13% ownership with an 11% chance of being the top scoring pitcher and an 11% chance of being the top value pitcher. He's facing the Chicago Cubs, who have a 101 WRC plus and a 23.1% strikeout percentage on their active roster. In addition, it's likely that we get a right-handed heavy Cubs lineup, particularly at the top and in the middle of the order, as most of their best hitters, Ian Happ not included, are right-handed. Barrios has still given up power to righties this year, but not as much as he has lefties. And he has a 24% strikeout percentage against righties compared to 18.5% against lefties. So it's likely that this Cubs lineup will set up well for him. Overall this year, he has a 21.2% strikeout percentage and 4.04 XFIP. And number one, Carlos Rodon in a difficult matchup against the San Diego Padres. The Padres active roster has a 117 WRC plus and 18.9% strikeout percentage. But Rodon is only projected for 12% ownership with a 15% chance of being the top scoring pitcher. He is $11,000. He leads the slate with a 32.1% strikeout percentage and he has a 2.99 XFIP. While the matchup for Corbin Burns, who is $100 more expensive, is much, much better against the Pirates. He's also getting about three times the ownership of Rodon, which makes Rodon look pretty good in tournaments. So to recap, the top three tournament stacks, number three, the Boston Red Sox, number two, the New York Yankees, and number one, the Toronto Blue Jays, and the top three tournament pitchers, number three, Ranger Suarez, number two, Jose Barrios, and number one, Carlos Rodon.